What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode number one of the FIFA 21 Road to Glory. It is going to be another fantastic year on the Road to Glory. We are going to be doing the first owner Road to Glory again this year, bringing it back from FIFA 19, I want to say. Um, this year is going to be a bit different. We're going to allow ourselves one rule and one rule only. We can purchase one player to have in the squad at any given time so if we would just want somebody for an objective if we just like you know let's say we just want a ronaldo or an Henri or just something awesome to play with for fun uh we're allowed to have one non-first owner in the starting lineup subs and reserves at any given time outside of that it will be a full first owner squad uh, and a full first owner setup again and uh we are back. That is it. So uh, I'm excited to be here for another season. If you guys are enjoying the content, drop a thumbs up on the video. It'd be very much appreciated. And of course, guys, if you want to hit that bell to get notified when the videos go live. And of course, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are pushing towards 100,000 subscribers. Um, this guy is talking his head off. We got a uh, Paderborn player there. That could be quite helpful. We got a, a, an English CDM as well and an English centre back, which is going to be really helpful for the early SBCs. Um, and of course, it's the same. It's 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 basically the same every year, isn't it? It's the same start. Oh, that's literally the foot draft stuff, isn't it? It's like a draft pick. Who do I want? Lucas. Lucas on six games would be quite good, actually. I'm going to take him. We're going to take Lucas well, for six games. Um, and then we've just got our starter pack team as per usual. The the German CDM is going to be super helpful. A lot of the game is still basically the exact same. What have we got here for our kits? What do I like? I like that severe kit, actually. That's a nice kit. What's going to be interesting this year? Um, let's go for the sporting kit as well. That's a really nice kit. Too. Oh, maybe I should have gone for the Liverpool kit, but never mind. A white kit and a black kit is good. And then our badge. What are we going to go for? I do like the Wolves badge. I do like the LAFC badge as well. What should we go for? I'm going to I'm gonna go for the LAFC badge. Um, it's a silver badge and they're tradable as well. So it might be uh, a little bit... Um, a little, a little bit of coins. And then we get some welcome back content, which I believe is the same as basically everybody. We get one three gold loan players pack, which I think is the same three players everybody gets to choose from. The kits, four gold player packs, a stadium pack, two gold packs, and 15 matches of coin boost of 1,500 coins, which is going to be super, super important. Um, let's get this stadium starter pack open uh, and this loan. I'm pretty sure this is going to be uh, uh, Trent, um, the Dortmund striker. Yeah, there you go. Haaland and Jean Felix. And I'm going to take Trent because we've also got Lucas and they're going to be super valuable for us during squad battles, would you believe? Um, and squad battles, as per most years... It's going to be our focus point right at the start. Um, one of the big issues with squad battles this year is it is considerably more difficult. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get into the top 200 on this account because I'm just not going to have the players to be able to do it. But here's our first pack back on the road to glory. It's Wijndal. He's got decent pace. He's not a bad fullback, to be fair. He could be decent for our first starter squad. Um, we get McCarthy... Zian Adin. It's, that's like a combination of Zinedine Zidane, but not at all, isn't it? McCarthy and uh, another player there. Some good con uh, consumables and stuff. Generally speaking now, though, the consumables seem to be spread a lot more evenly with nothing particularly um, nothing particularly more or less common than anything else, which should hopefully mean the consumables market in general is a lot more stable, which even though we make a lot of coins from it year on year, would actually be very, very happy for me because it means that we won't have to spend as much on certain things we get wood there another premier league player of course we're probably going to build into our first squad as a base premier league squad and uh, i know one of the season objectives as well is um oh, is this going to be selling if we not, we'll, we'll throw it we'll throw it up we've got to try bpm is going to be coming in thick and fast that's for sure i know bpm at this stage of the game i know fitness cards aren't in the game anymore there's no fitness anymore which is good um, and I know that was a big, big uh, contributor to the coin balance in previous years. As we got our first rare player, is it going to be a board? It's not going to be a board. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's... Oh, that is really nice. What a player to get to start with. As an 82 rated, Anderson Talisker is absolutely fantastic. What a card. He's got four star, four star, six three, high low work rates. Really well rounded stats there. That is really nice. Um... And a couple of other Brazilians, well, one other Brazilian, I suppose, but 
we can definitely start working into a nice team there as well. So three more packs to go. My starter packs on my main account, on my pay to win account, I ended up getting uh, Paul Pogba out of them, would you believe? And from this one, our second player is going to be Orja Iglesias. Not quite what we're looking for. We'll do a, a fair job, I suppose. What have we got for the... Uh, wow. Lots of Premier League players, though. Chambers, Cook, Loughton. Um, very nice. And we've already got our first duplicate. Let's throw him up. We're probably going to end up completing some objectives on accident whilst just doing these. We're going to get into squad battles. As I say, it's going to be the uh, primary goal off the bat. No walkout here either. I think that's a board. Is that a board? I couldn't quite see at the bottom. Back end there. No, it's not. Uh, and that is going to be Christy. Mm. Okay, he'll just be a bit hard to get into an actual team. Uh, what else have we got from the Premier League? Traore. Oh, he's not bad. You know, decent pace. De well, decent agility. He's not good either, I suppose. And another cook there. We'll throw him into the uh, transfer market just like so. And our final goal players pack before we get underway with uh, looking at the rest of the uh, rest of the account. Can we get something decent out of this one? No, we can't. No board out of this either. So Anderson Taliska is the best that we got coming back. We're also going to get Alex Romero. Not a bad goalkeeper, but EA have nerfed the goalkeeper boost on basic, which is a good thing. We get Tarkovsky there as well, which is a good thing. We get Mitrovic, another Premier League player. Yeah, we got we got we got an all right Premier League squad that we're going to be able to build straight for into into squad battles and obviously being a first owner road to glory. Um, this is going to be if you're ready to play your first uh, select play. Okay, thank you very much. Um, yeah, this, this is obviously as a first owner road to glory. This is going to be challenging just to, to do anything. We're allowed to purchase one player. Obviously, I have no coins at the moment, so I can't even purchase any player. But the first thing I'm going to focus on Ultimate is getting the these foundations done there's a lot more in milestones and other objectives and stuff it doesn't really offer too much it's more cosmetics than anything actual actually of uh, value to us you know um but as per usual with every year with the start of every year the first thing we're going to do is start working through the foundations and i know the the most efficient way to do that is just to start building your squad into 100 chemistry and uh getting it set up like that so that's exactly what we're going to do to begin uh we don't have to look at this let's get rid of him let's go and get ourselves our goalkeeper now we just need an english goalkeeper which we don't have that's uh fairly uh fairly hilarious what about right back we've got trent i know we can put a right back which would be quite helpful uh we've got Loughton as well we'll pop trent in there for now there you go there's one objective done straight away right there i know changing your team and changing your formation is going to give you objectives we'll put tarkovsky in there uh this center back can come out did we get a left back from the premier league or was it a left wing back Let's just go to the Premier League and have a look at what we've got. No, we can put Loughton out there from the Prem, I suppose. We've already got the right mid. We've got a CDM from the Premier League. Let's put this CDM in from the Premier League. We've got a left mid from the Premier League. We have not, but we could put Traore in there. And then up front, uh, we can put in Wood and Mitrovic. And that will be... Oh, we already have Barnes in there anyway. Uh, let's put Tom Davies in over this guy here we are going to need premier league or just oh, we've got an english goalkeeper there you go perfect so he's going to give us the chemistry we need which is another objective complete and uh, we're also going to need to get ourselves a manager and we've got to do this that links thing is always weird isn't it like the uh the hyperlinks and what oh god here we go again so you're acting like i've never played this game before yeah there we go there's another thing done um, and if you just switch it all around, it like, like guarantee, there you go. So another thing done just from switching the players around. It's so silly how, how the system works, but that is how it works. And so, uh, as we move on, we will, uh, we will go and get ourselves seven complete objectives now, which is quite interesting. All foundations, mostly the chemistry, there you go, basics. So positioning and basic chemistry is going to be done. Um, I don't even know what we really get for that. What was that? 150 coins and a gold reward pack. You, you, ne you just never know. You never know what's going to be in there. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's bad. In for chemistry next. So green link. So we need three perfect links. I think I have a player that will work for that. But if not, we'll just have to wait until we get it from like bronze packs and things like that. Which, of course, I'm going to be going into bronze pack method straight away because it does work. So three perfect links. We've got two out of three. Um... We just need a perfect link. So what have we got that would work as a perfect link? Aston Villa, that's not a perfect link. We need we need the actual full-on um, 
Club League. Oh, there you go. Barnes is going to be exactly what we need. Because that's not a perfect link, but that is a perfect link. Does it have to be in the right position? That's a bit interesting. What about then if we switch these two around? Does that count? Does that count? Yeah, so it's, it's, uh, I'm unfortunately not going to quite be able to finish it off from there. Um, but we're, we're, we're still in an all right place. We're in an all right place. Is there a way we can link the striker to the, to the right wing? I don't think we can. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll achieve that. Uh, oh, there you go. It did do it. It just didn't pop up. Um, so it did count. Even though it uh, didn't pop up, it did count. So we get Sniper Chemstar, which is nice. The Chemstars are seemingly going to be super cheap again. And we get another gold reward pack, which is, of course, very, very nice. And then we're going to get ourselves chemistry advanced so we've already done a whole bunch we're going to complete this as well change formation is the last one so 150 more coins six green links and 100 chemistry always nice and easy to do these ones you do just accidentally you don't even really need to try too much on these as we usually don't the point where it starts becoming uh not chore so to speak but a bit more challenging is when you start have to play games the friendly games and the um the uh the squad battles game. The squad battles game is absolutely fine, though. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, let's change that formation back now. And get our chemistry back. And then we've completed that objective, too. And, uh, you know, the, the start... What am I gonna, what's my plan for the start of this series? My plan for the start of this series is uh, grind bronze packs, grind squad battles, pick up our first set of rewards, and uh, get as many of the objectives done as possible. It's going to be it's going to be a task this time around you know obviously uh being first owner again so play with a friend and win with a friend is going to be quite interesting we're gonna to have to go and do the friendlies now i'd like i don't mind doing these just against a friend who scores an own goal and backs out just to get them done because they're just they're a fair waste of time but we are going to make sure we do everything this time around so play division rivals four rivals matches and 500 weekly score we'll do in a future video team of the week featured squad win squad battles and play five squad battles we're going to do very very soon the SBC basic stuff we're going to do is well. What I'm going to do is uh, go and do that off camera and then the basic. So change club name. Let's go and do that. We are going to be called. What are we going to be called? I think I think Team Sweat FC is exactly what I want to still be called. And, uh, and, and another year of Team Sweat. And one of the things I want to do this year, guys, and I'm so happy that Lacazette is the season uh, one level 30 reward, is because this year I want to develop and build the best possible first owner arsenal squad um it, you know no matter how long that takes or whatever that's that's one of the things i want to do so it's going to be uh quite good so top up contracts and top up managers so we could just do that right here as well who have i got that's actually going to be half useful for us for a while probably tarkovsky actually decent defending and physical not the best pace but all these um squad battles matches we're going to be playing he's going to come in nice and handy so we'll get that one done there and then uh, the manager as well Hopefully, we've got a bronze manager contract because, uh, yeah, we have. There we go. Because he's probably not going to be my manager for all that long. Um, we've So, we've done a couple more there. So, other than playing squad battles, we're, we're again, we're completing another objective fairly to, towards the end there. We get consumables pack. The consumables packs, not really that great, unless there's a draft token in there, which there could be. Um, so, SBC challenges are kind of next up. And there's obviously a lot of stuff in milestones now. Um, a lot of it is just just for playing the game which i like a lot more you don't really have to focus on it too much which is nice we've got the objectives which i'm going to be completing all the objectives and i'm going to be doing i'm going to be doing this sort of stuff obviously the daily objectives won't be the case for this but for example the three nations uh compete in the three nations live foot friendly to earn untradeable rewards now you get a premium gold players pack for this 75 rated 75 rated 75 rated rare players i'm going to go and build a squad and make a video on this dedicated to just this objective and just this objective and potentially the uh the bronze silver and uh oh wait the bronze silver and gold weekly objectives aren't there anymore okay yeah so they won't be there till friday anyway and potentially i'm going to build dedicated squads for those and do dedicated videos for those for the second channel i tried to do it on the first channel last year and it didn't really take off like i wanted I, I couldn't really figure out a right way to do it i'm going to try my best this year to try and do something cool with that um so we'll have to see how that goes uh, but there's a fair few objectives to go through and then of course season progress um yeah that uh that level 30 Lacazette. I already had hold of him on my pay to win account. I've since discarded him because it was a dev, uh, you know, a dev uh, season objective thing to get him. He is brilliant. He is fantastic. So I'm very excited to go ahead and get him and have him in the game. And the events aren't live yet. Of course, the game is still very, very, very early on. So we've got five more packs in store. 
Uh, they're not particularly great, great packs. There was a gold players pack there that could have been uh, half useful. Let's see what we'll get. Obviously, silver packs right now aren't going to be too useful until we get league SBCs or any SBCs of any uh, real note. They're not going to be that great. So we could say, oh, these are all untradeable anyway. We'll pop them all into the club. And of course, having as many players as possible at the start is going to be so important. That's really nice. An anchor chem style to kick things off and a thousand coin unlock there. Okay, that's all untradeable. But once again, an anchor chem style is going to be super nice. A couple of gold reward packs. Now, I think this is just one player, if I remember correctly. And it's, this is going to be just a, a common player as well. Uh, if you guys don't know, there's a video on my main channel that explains how to know whether you've got a common or a uh, or a rare player or something better, a board or a walkout or whatever. I don't think from a gold reward pack, I don't think you can get rare cards in general. So another coin unlock wouldn't go amiss. So I'd, I'd quite enjoy another coin unlock. We don't get one. Do you know a way kit? Not interested in that. Um, and then a gold players pack again. All untradeable, but who knows? I know last year we got something decent out of our one of our gold packs at the start, didn't we? Is it going to be this time? No board again this time, unfortunately. So just another rare gold. Is it going to be a useful rare gold? It's not. It's going to be Ladero. He's not bad. MLS has got some good players, but we don't have much MLS from ourselves so far. Do we get anything from the Premier League? Norwood in the centre mid. And that's about it. We've already got a fair, fair few players in the club, though. We're already, I'd say, close to 100 players. We're up to 2,000 coins. What I'm going to go and do now, though, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and get into the SBC basics and, and whatnot and uh, complete as many of them as I can with the content I've got in the club. And, uh, of course, Let's Get Started is going to be the main one. And the basics in general are going to be the main ones. I don't think we're going to be able to do much of the advanced SBCs for a while. I need to get some coins under my belt for that. So I will be right back. All right, guys, so that didn't take too long just to do the first um, the first, the first, bronze SBC there. We didn't really get much for that. A bronze pack, a bronze players pack, and a bronze reward pack, and then a two players pack, and we've completed one more objective. Uh, of course, in the road to glory, uh, what I want to try and show you as much as possible. I think last year I skipped a lot of what I was doing, and I don't particularly want to do that this year because um, there's a lot of little nuanced stuff that goes on that people miss out. They're like, oh, how do you do that? Where'd that come from? Um, so all I did was the very very first let's get started sbc set it's really easy you can pretty much always do it or oh, he's really helpful for the next one always do it with uh, the players that you have in your squad uh, and the reason why i decided to open these packs now and take that next first objective is because to do the next set i need some players which is where now the early stage of golf swing celebration let's go the early stage of bronze pack method and grinding the objectives that give packs that are not hard is going to come in really, really handy. Uh, so we get ourselves a gold players pack, and that is going to give us Ardo, 86 pace, 81 physical. Again, for squad battles, he'll be nice and handy. He's, oh God, we've, oh, please tell me he's not a duplicate and tradable already. Okay, he's tradable. That's very nice. Um, and for some reason, the rare, the commons are 650 minimum sale price, even though they're only 300 discard price. I don't know why. Now, Here's a reason why bronze pack method right now is so valuable at the start, even without fitness. Those early SBCs, people still need to do. So people will still go ahead and buy players that suit them and fit their needs. So you could basically get away with buying and selling, buying a pack and listing up everything that comes on in that pack. Uh, contracts could potentially, um, could potentially be selling don't really know if they're going to be at this stage people have just got the web app so probably not i'll just hold on to them because people aren't actually playing the game uh, by the time this video goes live you guys will have access to the game maybe by then they'll be selling but what a lot of people are going to be doing is trying to buy those bronze players that fit their squad um for uh oh he could be quite good yeah i mean 400 coins he is there and we obviously get a 100 coin unlock there as well we get kirby a crystal palace english left mid and this is even if it's only low money you know we're only talking a couple hundred coins profit per pack i'm going to keep all the celebrations a couple hundred coins profit per pack but it all adds up and it, and it might take its time but we've opened two packs now and some items have already sold and this is going to be the process until our trade piles full up just opening bronze packs listing all the players all the players all the players i don't think there's really anything outside of that now that is going to work this guy might be selling 200 as well but i don't think there's going to be much outside of that that's going to work um just because there's no reason for anyone to want or purchase anything 
out of these packs other than players at the moment. It's going to be interesting to see what EA do that may or may not give any more relevance to BPM. Maybe they don't do anything that gives relevance to it and it just dies off real quickly, but maybe they do. Um, so I'm going to keep both those Swedish guys. They're going to be, uh, as long as they're from the same league, they are. They're going to be super helpful for me. I'm going to, I'm going to try and sell the rare contract. And I'm going to show you why I kept both those Swedish guys and why opening bronze packs and opening those starter starter packs is going to be so valuable. Now, straight away, as you can see, we've got three transfers sold. I only opened five, what, four or five packs? There you go. I mean, uh, lovely stuff there. We make every, every 400 coin pack that gets opened. We only have to sell two players out of that pack to make our profit. And we're still getting some other stuff in there. Is it going to be a viable long-term solution? Maybe, maybe not. But we have got our foundations uh, done the transfer market of list an item is there list 20 players will also get done a list 10 players is there list 20 players will also get done quite quickly and this is just easy coins you know and one thing that's like real important right now in the early stages is getting those coins in your bank as quick as possible because everything is so cheap at the start and for those of you that will have your 10 hour early access as well that means for you guys too um so i've got level one trent alexander arnold i'm going to take again another five games on him so we've got eight games on him now and nine games on lucas and would you believe i am likely going to use them in squad battles it's that hard this year i'm very interested to see what my teams are as i say i don't think i can get top 100 in squad battles this year what i am going to do is focus real hard because i'm going to be first owner that's why i know i can't get top 100 or top 200 in squad battles this year to to, to be able to do that I would need to be able to purchase lots of players. I don't really think I could purchase lots of players. Um, so the next thing I'm going to go and do, guys, is going to be going and uh, getting involved. Ooh, R3 takes you to SBCs. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Um, I thought it would take you to something else. I want to go and see objectives. Um, so these objectives aren't really that important. Th this is. This is important. Getting those three players in a premium gold player pack is important. I think we'll do that for a video uh, on its own tomorrow um, we'll just build a squad because three nations is in friendlies so it's basically three players and you can go and do it based around the foundation friendlies section so the next thing for us to do is the training sbc2 and this is why opening those bronze packs and doing what we were doing before are so important because i think is it to do let's get going go to the squad i love this by the way in the bottom right hand corner big fan of this Go to the squad builder challenges tile and complete the leagues and nation basics group. The base. Oh wait, complete this. Let's see if we got it. One league attack, one nation midfield. See so yeah, now I can buy players for this, and this is why the bronze pack method works so well because you need one league but five nations. So the lower leagues are going to be really really helpful. Um, like the the EFL League Two and EFL League One are going to be just super super helpful because that's where you get most of it out of. I have one midfielder, so I'm actually going to have to go and bronze pack a whole bunch. And I, I am. I'm gonna. I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is gonna go and just open a, a fair few bronze packs. I don't really want to do this part on video because it's just, it's just boring, isn't it? Um, and I'll come back once I've run out of coins, pretty much. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I'm still at 2,100 coins or so, as you can see. I open bronze packs until my coins run out. I listed some items. We sold some stuff. We got one car sell for 900, which is very nice. We've still got a trade pile. Uh, fairly full of bronzes that will eventually sell some of them may not may not some of them will um i've got one more objective done and so uh the grind is going uh, very good right now and what we're gonna do now uh for the the end of today's video is play a game of squad battles because not only is it very important to sort out for foundations and stuff i need to see just how much i need to grind or how far away i am from getting good results in squad battles. So we're going to take on this team here, I believe. Uh, they got a bronze left back up front, three attacking players or midfielders in defense. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be easy enough to beat on legendary. Uh, I, I found it fairly easy to win on legendary against this kind of squad. Where's my finger sleeve? I don't know. Um, yeah, I found it fairly easy to, to win um, with this kind of squad, against this kind of squad, I beg your pardon. With my big team, you know, my, my pay to win Premier League team. I don't know what kind of level of difficulty it's going to be with my basic gold Premier League team. Um, obviously, I've got a couple of subs that we can utilize. that would be quite nice. If I'm to get top 200, 
I got to be able to win against these low level teams on legendary because I tell you something guys even world class was proving challenging. So this is going to be one hell of a fun game. I think that was extremely loud for you because it was extremely loud for me. Um yeah, I I think it's going to be a hell of a tough game and we're not going to do much uh for content. Is there Oh hold on. Um 11 aside audio. There we go. Commentary volume down. Stadium ambiance. Uh, we'll we'll keep there. Um, yeah, you know it's it's not going to be. Um, I don't want any menu music. Sound effects. I do want menu. I don't want. There we go. Um, yeah, for the fifth time, sixth time. Where are we say. So all I'm going to show you guys is basically the highlights. I don't want you to watch a full squad battles games, but um, yeah, here we go, guys. We're in, into our squad battles game. Uh, I'm going to give it my best shot, and all I got to do is is hope. That I've got the uh, the capability to make this work. There we go. Nice. Got the ball back. Here we go. Counter attack is on. Woods through the middle. Oh, Woods through the middle. Go on, lad. Get those legs away. Get those legs away. Bags it. Go. Come on. He doesn't have the most pace. <laughs> He's only got 66. But that is what I like to see. Our first squad battles goal coming in hot. That's good. It once you go 1-0 up against the AI, against this level of team, it gets really easy because they press like crazy. And it makes it... Oh, I've got Lucas. I forgot. He's going to be so important. Oh, here we go. There's Lucas again. And there's that back post. Oh, and there's that back post. And there's... <sighs> nice. 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 Let's go. 2-0. All right. We're in, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. I might have to actually not use Lucas and Trent for these uh, these easy games. Maybe save them for the harder games. Because we're already 2-0 up with my base Premier League gold squad. I like that. Maybe that experience that I've already had on the game is going to be good. And we've got Wood through. Oh, we got Wood through. Let's pop that across. Corner. Corner, I'll take it. Goal kick. Corner. That's what I thought. Here we go. We got Wood in there. Win that head a big boy. Win that head a big boy. Win. The oh, he did as well. He did. He did. Oh, he's away. That's a cracking pass as well. Oh, he just doesn't have it. He just doesn't have it. Barnes. What? When do I bring Talisker on and where do I play him? I think I bring Talisker on up front, don't I? And play him up front. When do I bring him on is the question, though. I'm going to bring him on now. You know, it's just something I feel like I've got to do. We're going to put more up top. We're going to bring on... How much pace has Troy got? 82. Mitrovic, no. Norwood, no. Johnny with the 83 pace can go there. I'm going to bring Anderson Talisker up into there. Uh, we've got Marsh, who's a centre mid, who's trash. We can bring him off there. Maybe Brave making subs this early. But we'll get it done. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. We've got some subs on. We've got Anderson Talisker up front with the four-star, four... Is he four-star, 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 three-star? Something like that, anyway. This is going to be good. It's going to be... Don't score. Don't score. Don't score. Don't score. Thank you. Nice. Nice. Oh, this is this is it. And here we go. We're away with Johnny. Look at Tally Scrat at back post. Look at Tally Scrat at back post. Look at Tally Scrat at back post. Bags it. Yeah, they are pinging this ball around. I can't stop it. Keeper's ball. Love that. Oh, I'm a big fan of that. Yes, we got that, that space down the left. Here we go. It's Davies. It's not what you really want. That's what you want, though, isn't it? Go on, Trent. Oh, yeah, big fan. Oh, look at Talisker again. Look at Talisker! It's volleyed home. It's 3-0. And I, what did I say? Legendary's hard. It's not hard. These teams are easy. It gets really hard, really hard when you play a team who's got a player with a brain. That's when it becomes impossible. Oh, ha! They, hey, we got a new meme. We got a new meme. They got a player on their team. His name is Preciado and his first initial is A. He is much appreciado. Let's go, man. Much appreciado. Let's get it, dude. All right, then focus. Yep, we're struggling, boys. Here we go. We got it out. Nice. Davies is away. Nice. Lucas, get on side, pal. Nice. Here goes. This has got to be another one. This has got to be another one. Keepers moved over to that side. We'll shoot far side. It's 4-0. Let's go. 
Let's go. It's a double bubble, Derek. He can't believe it. Lucas. Oh, you can't keep up with him. Oh, we got Anderson. Taliska. He shoots. He shoots again. Bangs it. Oh, how? Where is this time coming from? EA, please. Oh, thank God. Half time, please. Like, please. Thank you. Gee, cheese and rice, mate. Cheese and rice. Right, I don't think I've had much possession. Yeah, 40%. <laughs> but, 4 nil up and that's all that matters. So, we're going to see out the rest of this game. Hopefully get a fifth. And uh, I'll see you guys at full time. Or if there's a highlight other than that. Come on. Let's try and get that fifth goal. Oh, that's a nice tackle. Yeah, stop them in their tracks. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Space down the right. Yes, Johnny. Let's go, pal. Let's go, pal. Oh, I love that. The pace. The space. He wins the race. Oh, he doesn't win the race. He loses the race. Oh, well, we've got good here from corners, though. Anderson Talisker in the middle. Yes, please. Yes, please. Let's pop that there. Let's win that head, pal. Let's win that head, pal. It's 5 0. Come on. Manual headers OP. Am I right? <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys. We've got one minute of time to hold on. 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Blow it up, ref. There we go. I think 5-0. Five, 5-0 hey, five nil. Five nil is sick. 5-0 is big. You don't, you don't get that. You know what I mean? You don't get that. 5-0 is, is, is a big boy thing right here. I think that puts me in top 200 because I just don't think any, anybody's playing. Um, I think I'm going to take out Lucas and Trent unless I absolutely need them. Because that was too easy. I could have won it without them. What I love about what I'm going to do over the next few days grinding squad battles is we're going to unlock so many coins from match earnings. We are going to be able to go and buy our first talisman. Um, you know, this is a first owner road to glory. 2,500 points. I love that. This is a first owner road to glory. But we can buy one. Gareth Bale on the market right now is in the mid-30s. If I could grind enough to get Gareth Bale straight off the bat, that would be a really, really nice thing uh, uh, to, to achieve, you know? Um... So what did we complete? Yeah, so I'm ranked 147th in the world off of that one game, which is obviously quite nice. It won't last, and I still don't think I'm going to be able to stick it out. I, I, I think we're going to struggle. Once we start matching up against the big teams, I think we're really going to struggle. But this is why I went into that game. We complete some more of the objectives. We're going to do some more in tomorrow's video. We get the basics done, which is very, very nice. Um, we get, uh, we're up to 5k coins. Like I said, Gareth Bale's at 30k. So if I've got just grind squad battles, if I purchase Gareth Bale... And we'll be in there like swimwear. Win a squad battles match. It's going to give us some more uh, co content. And then, yeah, for tomorrow's video, we're going to start working through some more of this. Um, I'm going to BPM a fair old bit as well. See if I can grind my coins up like that. We get a club anthem pack. My The club anthem in the last game, did you hear? Here we go. Here we go. How do I, like, make it, like, try to play it? I want to play it, but never mind. Um, and then a silver pack and a premium silver pack, which aren't really that useful. But also, they're not terrible, you know. They're not terribly... Um, obviously we can't really get anything decent out of these. The pack and the pack. Oh, it just feels good to be back, guys. It does. That's all I'll say. That's pretty cool. Don't care for it. 500 coins. Let's go. Gareth Bell's coming home, boys. We're up to 5k coins. Now, come on. Give me another coin. Or oh, give me a free pack that's tradable. Ah, oh, it's going to be a rare, a rare silver card. Could, could still be quite useful, I suppose. Um, obviously it's untradeable. German manager, nice. Some contracts. Oh, I like that kit. I'm going to keep that kit. Probably won't wear it ever. Uh, but yeah, so I think I'm going to try my best, guys, to grind enough coins. Um, as I say, I was I was buying a lot of Gareth Bales on my other account because of how cheap he was. He was in the low 30s when I was purchasing him. And now he's in the, like, he's already up at like 36, 35s. So... It will be a long grind, a tough grind. But if I can get to that many coins, to have him as our our only non-first owner in you know the first stint of our games will be amazing because he's been brilliant with me playing with him so far. Uh, however, I have got 5k coins, so I could go and buy a pace merchant striker um, to improve the squad for squad battles because pace is important. But this is a first owner squad, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do as many easy objectives as I can to get 
coins and packs. I'm going to grind as much as I can. Maybe start working into some upgrade packs. Who knows? But uh, this for today, guys, is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.